Hello everybody. So remember when my game froze that last preseason game? Well, I didn't save, so I just simulated it because I wasn't redoing it. Especially for just a preseason game. Now, if it was the Super Bowl, I might have redone it. So, this is the first regular season game against the Steelers. So, alright, let's get this thing going. Jameis Winston. Ugh. Oh yeah, guys, I am sick too. So if I'm coughing and sniffling and all that stuff in this video, then then you know that I am running a cold. Fall allergies. I freaking hate them. Doesn't make things much better when I am completely stressed out because of my freaking junior college schedule. Fortunately, when you're in that junior year, you're in all the core classes. So freaking difficult. It's opening week in the NFL, and today we have two teams who are more than ready to get the season underway. It's the Patriots going up against the Steelers. So now let's go. Ah, we got Brady on the Steelers. They say. The Steelers are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. That Steeler fans hate that. <laughs> Kind of funny. I'm from Pennsylvania, and I like New England. All right, let's get this going. Charles is going to drop to a knee here. Ah, I got Jamal Charles too. He has won Super Bowls. He has won MVP awards. He continues to dominate the game. Quarterback Tom Brady. Well, when you talk about Tom Brady, where do you start? He's a good decision maker on the All field. All right, let's go. And when he needs <laughs> to, he can throw Got to the change my power as good as anybody freaking in the NFL. sliders. So this is on all pro. Stop Jamal Charles. Here's a look at the offense. And this core group of wide receivers must find a way to get open today. Brady's lining up in the pistol. Second down and ten. Nicks with the reception. Darn it. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because Come they're on. watching the quarterback's eyes. First down at the 31. Oh. And it's knocked down. Almost. As we feature now, the defensive starters, Paul Pozlozny, has been getting it done at inside linebacker for many a season since coming out of Penn State in 2007. Yeah, you know what you're going to get from him, Jim, that's for sure. You know he's going to know what to do. He's tough, and he gives great effort. Those are great traits to have as a middle linebacker. Get them. Yeah. yeah. Gets the sack. Well, it's all about timing. I got to tell you something. The safety did a wonderful job timing the snap count that time. Caught everybody off guard, and he gets the sack on the QB. The Steelers take it from the 23. The long pass. Uh -huh. That's close. Cool. So many times when you drop the football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's <coughs> because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Stupid delay. I hope to get, my, get that uh, new Elgato soon. Ah. He's taken down at the 42. That returns good for about 35. Wow, well, he don't want to watch replay. The Patriots don't have any downs, but I'm sure a lot of fans out there are anxious. 
anxious to see if the rookie quarterback can handle the pressure here for the first time in the league. Oh, yeah, look, uh, it's Jameis Winston. Like All right, here we go. Time, you know, you were so that. So I was kind of a little nervous, but I got over it. Things have worked out okay since. Murray with the reception. Aha. <laughs> times but one thing you want to do throw and catch it just like this and pick up those first downs and keep it going darn it the defense has the football no one's gonna get a match wow the 40 the 30 the 20 the 10 touchdown <laughs> what a deflating play for the offense the defense well, picks up it. the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long? Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. The Steelers getting ready to kick it away. Gurley's got it. And the tackle is made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Patriots were able to bulldoze their way down the field, only to cough up the football the last oh time they God. were out here. It sure looked like they were going to put up some points. Yeah, the defense has got to be a lucky one. They died before just getting that fumble because they were getting moved on, pushed back. The offense was moving the ball great, but the defense came up with the fumble. First down here. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Wow. This goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Here's the group that perhaps has the game's biggest assignment, the offensive line. Here we go. What? None. What? None. The Patriots. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh. <coughs> oh. 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 Oh, DeMarco Murray. Yeah. Anytime you see a long run for a touchdown, what you got to look for is blocking downfield. Nice job by the uh, wide receivers and everybody hustling, making a block and a long touchdown run. Now ready to kick it off as we have a tie game here. Scores seven to seven. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. All right. Let's see here. The Steelers didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. It wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing. Right. So, got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but... Man, that was pretty easy. Second down following the run. He'll give it to Jamal Charles. Ah. And that's a gain of nine. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The will take the snap from the third. Well, darn. Picks up <coughs> here. Holding offense. There we go. That penalty is, of course, Still going to be accepted by the defense. Third down after the penalty. The Patriots lined up in the nickel. Snap back to Brady from the gun. And there we go. Down. The Steelers don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. Gurley's gonna look for space 
Darn it. Oh. The Steelers defense comes back onto the field. Did not look so good that last series, giving up the touchdown. Oh, you know the coaches are upset. My gosh, they ran some of the most elementary defenses that you can oh, run, go. and they had what? mistakes by the defensive players. They coach them up on the sidelines. We'll see if we see different results. Look at that concentration as he nice. makes the grab. That's his first reception today. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. The Patriots will make the snap from the 45. Ah. He's taken down at the 46. Murray, it's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Back here to start quarter two. We are deadlocked right now in a game that has seen its fair share of defense. Yeah, it's kind of fun to watch, isn't it? I love defenses when they come out and they just establish the line of scrimmage. Come on. Oh. That's what we've seen so far, and I think it's going to continue. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Let's go! Second and nine. Murray's got it on the handle. Ah! As we've seen today, this is a team that's dedicated to the run, and it's paid off with some very good stats on the ground. Well, it shows right. you what the coach thinks. He believes first. in running the football, and when you believe in it, what happens to your football team? They become tough, and they have shown that toughness here today. Aha. That's why there they have go. such a good ground game goal. <laughs> West Coast offense, something that really I thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Murray lined up in the backfield. Oh, he dropped. the ball loose. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got a time to pass where the football is going, where the receiver is going to catch it and do the perfect timing. Get that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Aha, uh -huh. there he is. Game 16. That's his first reception today. When you get aggressive safeties, you like to get up there and try to stop the run. The post route is an awesome way to take advantage of that. Go down the field, 10 to 12 yards, plant that outside foot, run towards the goal post. Nice throw by the quarterback. Oh, no. Not again. Ah oh, man. The 30, the 20, the 10, taking it all the way home. Darn it. They got another defensive touchdown. Dang it. You got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. The point after is good. Adam Vinatieri lining up for the kickoff. Takes it from the two. Oh, look at Ryan Kerrigan right there. Their defense has had a lot to do with them getting out to this lead, and he's been the one setting the tone, Phil. Yeah, Jim, I love the way he plays. He's had a terrific day so far. His toughness. Uh, Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by on. the offense, and now they have a good situation. Let's go! The Patriots from the 37. Dobson on the receiving end. Dobson is tackled down. Quarterbacks love play action passes, especially on first down, because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. First down and ten. With two hands, he has it. Finley's tackled down after a gain of seven. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Second down, four to go. Winston's completion for uh -huh. 70 percent of the day. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. 
All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. The Patriots snap it at the 26. Finley's got it on a pass that had some heat. So here's the cover four defense. Four defensive <coughs> backs stopping the deep passes down the field, but nobody is there to stop the crossing right, route. Here we go, here we go. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge touchdown. Nice. Murray's second touchdown of the game. And just before the half, they battled back and tied the game. That could do a whole lot for the mood of that locker room at the break, Phil. No question. <coughs> just gives you an emotional lift to find a way to tie a football game up right before halftime. That was a nice drive and a good job done by the offense. Catches it at the two and starts his return. Paul Poslesny makes the tackle. That return's good for about 24. The Steelers weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to bury their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim. If you do that by showing different formations and oh. plays, you saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you got to react and see if you can get some positive plays. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three and out business. No, uh, it's a bad business to be in. I know. I get in a lot of bad businesses. Set up now at the 28-yard line. Wait, Jamal wait, Charles wait, is wait, in wait, the backfield. Brady's going to throw once again on this down. Scott Chandler has the grab. Uh. Chandler's able to get the job done and picks up the first down. Jim, if the receiver is open, throw him the football because here's just a good example. When a guy catches the football short, if he can just break that tackle, they can pick up those extra yards. Good job by the quarterback and receiver that time. Brady standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Darn it. On the football and has the catch. The Steelers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. The Patriots with a nickel look here on defense. Brady's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Ha ha. Look at that. Kiko Alonso. Yay. A late second quarter interception could certainly change the tenor of this game, Phil, as we head near halftime. Oh, it really can. I'll tell you, the game, it's tied all that. You're thinking the worst that's going to happen to us. We're going to go in at halftime tied. And now, all of a sudden, if this offense can take advantage of this opportunity, that will change everything going inside. The Patriots are tied up in what's been a fun game up to this point, partner. Murray's been really effective in the first half, Phil. Yeah, the game is tied. I'll tell you why it's tied. You said it right. The running game is absolutely kicking it, kicking it out there, and they're taking names, if you know what I'm saying. And this All right. Back, I think it's time to go down. down. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Yep. Couldn't find the play. The first half is in the books, and we're tied. Each defense matching one another play for play. Larry Ridley is coming up next. Makes the catch at the seven. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Patriots offense will try to set the pace early here in the second half with this game tied. Here we go. Yeah, they're going to try to set the pace, but listen, on the other side, this All defense right. is aggressive, it's tough. I think the defense is going to get after them and maybe cause a turnover right here. That's second down coming up. Winston's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Yeah. job selling the fake and it helps the QB Black Brown. Black that Brown. was a big gainer now it's time Black. to back it up dropping back three darn it but dropped it 
Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it in to tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football falls incomplete. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Second and ten. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Patriots have it at the 44. Ah! Defenses were so dominant in the first half. I don't see any reason why the third quarter is going to be any difference here, Phil. Well, the game's moving at a fast pace, Jim, because the defenses are dominating and doing so many good things. So they're not tiring out. Usually that's the number one problem for all defenses in this league. When they get tired, they give up plays. But that no sign of tiredness so far out there on the field. The Steelers come out onto the field, now looking to get something positive going here to take the lead in this game, Phil, as we start the second half. Yeah, they would like to do that. Of course, you always want to take the lead, but when you get into the second half and you Come on, get him. Man, that starts to put the pressure on the other team. So that's their thinking. I, I think they will come out here and be very aggressive to start the second half. Second down, tough field position here. Charles lined up in the backfield. The Get him. Yeah, yeah. The Steelers do a good job that time on second down. They don't force the football down the field. They throw it short. They pick up some solid yards to make it a good situation for them. Third and short. And the offense All right, will here we go. here on third down after the completion. The Patriots defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Come on. Uh. Wow. Been tactical. Get him. The freak. Holding defense. Oh, screw you. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. Charles, the lone setback this time. First down at the 17. And he finds Scott Chandler. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw them down and get it done. Brady's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Second and six. Jamal Charles the football. Oh, what the freaking heck? He's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Charles is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down at the 31. Looks but nice. connect on the short throw. Well, it's all about timing when you talk about a quarterback and receiver. They both got to be on the same page, know what each each one is expected from the other. That time it was not there. That's why we have another incompletion. It's Brady out of the pistol. The Steeler snapping at the 31. Which ah. is made by Gordon. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. That's his first reception today. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. The Steelers will take the snap from the 45. Josh Darn it. Gordon with the catch. Gordon is a smart guy. He knows he's running slam routes over the middle. You've got to make sure you protect yourself. So he's under control, catches the football, gets to the ground before those defensive players can really uh, beat him up. Good solid game. He doesn't quite get the first down. Oh, oh my God. Are you serious? Good. What a run by Charles. 
The fourth quarter is about to get underway, and we've got a tie game. This one's been fun to call, partner. Yeah, it sure has. It, it has been fun, Jim. I love low-scoring uh, games where there's a lot of pressure on the calls, pressure on the players. We've seen that, and it's going to be a fun finish. With the contact, the ball comes out. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field. Nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Jamal Charles is in the backfield. Nothing drives a coach crazier than a false start penalty. False start offense. Still second down. What a drive this has been. Definitely been a long one. Second and long, Jamal Charles. They break through, tackle him behind the line. The Patriots defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. Brady's got it in the gun. Surveys. Come on. Oh. In along the sideline. That's his first reception today. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. Brady's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Brady's back in shotgun formation. Muscles through the defender. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone. But there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. They started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. And they'll run the football with Charles. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Charles is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second and goal at the one. Darn it. The catch. Touchdown. Still a lot of game to go, but they're taking the lead on that touchdown. Oh, man, that's awesome. Anytime you take the lead in the fourth quarter, that is a huge deal because we're talking about limited possessions, limited time on the play clock. This puts a lot of pressure on the other team. Gordon's on the bench as the <coughs> kicking team comes out. He was an important part of that last scoring drive, making four catches. Ah. That return's good for about 27. The Patriots heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative. Get the you serious? No one blocked that they guy. Come on. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Looking across the middle, locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Patriots did a good job at picking up your first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get it up, but what does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. Winston's completion percentage 70% on the day. That's reception number four for him. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws <coughs> it there and gets another completion. This game is not over, but the quarterback knows that time is short, and his team must do something in a hurry. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Following that completion, second and short. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Winston's going to take it from the gun. Finley's got it, and a first. Time in this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. He'll throw it over the middle. That's a gain of 10. <coughs> Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. 
Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. First down, pressure on every snap. Ha-ha, yeah. the rookie running back that time breaking the tackles and getting in the end zone and how exciting that is going to be a tremendous lift to him and take the pressure off of him he knows now he can get it done in the nfl so now we've got a tie game but still enough time here to make something happen able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Steelers' offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game Another so far. False start. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Oh, I swear you. I didn't even move. Both sides making the appeals, but the officials saw it on the defense. The Patriots sat at the line. Dime package. The Steelers take it from the 28. Jamal Charles yeah. has the catch. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. No time to huddle right now. They go right to the hurry up. Well, and he, this hurry up. Ball Come on. Ah. Such a big part of the NFL. So many close games, you better be good in the hurry up offense. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. Is it? What's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. The Steelers snap it at the 41. Come on. Ah. Oh. Concentration as he makes the grab. Screw it. Let him score. In the final moments, they score the touchdown to take the lead late in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's a nice drive, and it was exciting to watch. Now, can the defense go out there and hold on to keep this game where it is? The Patriots prepared to return the kick. Takes off from the five. Ah. The tackles made right around the 25-yard line. Well, partner, it looks like it all comes down to this, and when this team finds itself in these kinds of situations, that man right there is almost always the one they turn to. Yeah, they do, and rightly so. That's why they pay him money. That's why he's one of the stars. Oh, yes. So you don't go away from him in a situation like this. Give him that football. Let him do his thing. You can feel the tension in the air. The Patriots continue to look to their top target on the day. Robinson's been the top target, and he's been very strong in this game. The offense, what a tremendous design they've had here today. They've had many ways to oh get my God. the wide receiver. That was and he close. has done a good job of taking advantage of it. The Patriots have saved all three of their timeouts for here in the fourth quarter. Second down and ten. No, he dropped it. Oh, come on, man. Dobson's one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are. Oh, come on, are, man. If you get your hands on the now, football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. No! Come on, man! There is no decision to make in a situation like this. Oh, come on! The clock is running. You take a quarterback sack. Look how long it's taken them to get back in formation to try to run the next play. Going for the deep ball. Yes! Al Robinson again. Oh my God! I remember when I threw my first touchdown as a rookie. I ran down that field faster than the receiver could. I was so excited to get it done, and I know this guy feels the same way. That's exciting to watch a rookie quarterback throw his first touchdown. So, kickoff coming up. This game is back to square one, and while there's a little time left, you would think this one might be going to overtime. 
Brady will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. The Patriots' defense knows right now it cannot bend in this tie game in the late stages. Yeah, that's right. They know the situation. You practice this all the time. Come on, come on, come on. Get, get him. You go over these scenarios so you know what you've got to do, and that is be aggressive, be alert, and don't get tricked by a special play from the offense. Holding offense. There we go. The defense will take the penalty. The Steelers coming to the lines. They'll have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth yeah, quarter. Fumble here. Charles is going to secure the handoff. And Vontez Perfect brings him down. The All right, going would like into to get to the 33 yard line to give their kicker a realistic chance. And here we have Wait, second they're down. They're probably going to try to pass it long here. Nope. All right. <coughs> First overtime of the game. Uh oh. Come on, I want to watch the Steelers for this so run. Time, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, All the right. game is over. Up a However, if you take the ball defense down defense better play freaking better than it's been. Field goal, the other team will have a chance to tie or win the game. And if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. Brady set in the pistol. 20, 20, 55. And the overtime come on, period come on. begins uh, on this play. Come on. Jeez. Charles takes the hit and is brought down. Charles is never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Charles lined up in the backfield. Second down and nine. They will give it to Jamal Charles. Yes. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Charles is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. The Steeler gets set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Third and nine. Scans the field. No! Oh, come on! What the freaking heck? Conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. The Steelers on their offensive play sheet. They don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you done. now completed his last seven passes. Oh my God! Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, the guard the tight end close. And, and sometimes that doesn't matter. They're so big and they got long arms, they can still make the catch. Quarterbacks give them a chance, they get it done. Brady's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Here's the handoff and no run. Charles takes the hit and is brought down. This time for six. The Steelers have it at the 39. Again, the lean on it. The Steelers offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play. But what happens is the run loses yards. That's just a bad job on the offensive line. Brady standing back in the shotgun ready for the Come on. Oh, come on. Arjun Gardney's tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy? Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch him. Trying to plow ahead. No. And now we reach the two-minute warning. We're
are back. Only two minutes remain in this one. Second and four. Come on. Stop him. Charles is marked down at the 19. Well, when you get a couple first downs on a drive, it just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive. Oh, well, this is giving me a shot, anyways. Like dictating to the defense. I love it. And he converts here on the field goal try. Okay. Right. That was a good hold, good kick, three points. Good job by the offense. <coughs> He's going to start his return. There's a flag out. Another flag. My God. Illegal block in the back. Return team. Oh, my God. It's an illegal block in the back, and the coaching staff cannot be happy about this. No, it's a bad decision, and most of all, it's dangerous. You can hurt players when you block them like that. First down at the 17. He's got the catch. Allen's there to take it down. Let's go! First and 10. Amari Cooper has the nice. catch. After the catch, it's now second down and one. Getting set as fast as they can. Quick drop back. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. My God, another flag? Really? Holding offense. Oh, come on. The defense accepts the penalty. Winston's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. Out of the shotgun formation. Nice. That's five receptions on the day. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Two hands on the football as the catch. The Patriots will you must definitely here. say that we'll last time out here. On first down. The line of scrimmage, the 36. Come on, let's go. First and 10. Murray on the screen. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh. Gets about nine come on, hurry up, play. hurry up, hurry up. So they complete one. Still in second down. Come on, come on. And DeMarco Murray comes down with it. Picks up eight here. Big oh, 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 well, Jim, if this guy was a golfer, he would lead the golf tour in driving accuracy. He is a machine when it comes to kicking field goals. Charles is not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The Steelers put some points on the board on their previous possession, but it was just a field goal. They'll be looking to add some more right here. Yeah, they will. Wait, wait. Yeah, listen, you know, when you talk about touchdown drive, you have to kick a field goal. What does that mean? That means you failed on third down. Just not a good play on third down. they got to do better in that situation. If they do, that's going to lead to seven points. It's hard to believe. Week one, we've got a game that ends in a... Ah, oh, a freaking tie. Really? That's my, I think that's my first tie ever I've gotten. But maybe, maybe just getting that tie might be the difference and send you to the Wow. For Phil Sims. Ah, a freaking tie. Ah. For now. That was better than the loss. That's why I didn't take the chance. Wow, that's freaking crap. <laughs>
Now, the game's probably going to get locked up like it's been. Surprised it didn't lock up. Wow. 